We are Mr. Tesla's sixth grade art history class, and the highlight starts now! Welcome to WGPS News. I'm Ava Chardello. And I'm Nico Zinochoglu, and you're watching the highlight. Sonia Woodham introduces us to the changes in classrooms since COVID. The change in classroom setups after COVID has created a new and great environment for COVID students. Did, and we had to separate the students. Um, it really put a damper on the collaboration that I like to you know, encourage in the room. Despite COVID cases, we're trying to return back to normal. We're still you know, uh, having cases, but I'm very excited to get to back to some sense of normalcy and, uh, you know, students getting to be kids again. Students get to talk to their friends more in a comfortable setting. I'm excited for the future and where we're going to be taking our students. Students can go back to normal and interact with groups during school hours. I am Sonny Wood and we're here with WJPS News to highlight. Miss Leto coaches the Francis Lewis girls soccer team. Here's Daisy Quall with the story. Miss Leto is a staff at WJPS. Miss Leto is also the soccer coach for the Francis Lewis girls soccer team. The soccer team practices every day from 3.30 p.m. to 5.30 p.m. Practices are typically fun here. I mean, it's a little rough, not gonna lie. It's two hours every day, but we work hard and we put a lot of effort into what we do, so it's great. A couple of WJPS students are part of the Francis Lewis girls soccer team. There are two captains for the Francis Lewis high school soccer team. Miss Little handles being a staff at WJPS and being the coach of the girls varsity soccer team at the same time. Feels good. Um, stressful at times, but uh, pretty good, especially how far this program has grown over the years since I played here. Um, definitely couldn't have done it alone. I have an amazing assistant coach, Harlan Smith. I have great captains who support the team. This year, the team has a roster of 18 players. Practices tend to be around two hours long. Okay, so my coach motivates me a lot because she made me run so much. And by running so much, I had to put 100% and always push to do the drills that she made us do. So thank you, coach, for making me run and lose all this weight. I'm so proud. This year, the team is in a new league called Queens AA. In this league, there are new challenges and higher expectations. Let's hope we see the team in the finals. I'm Daisy Cole reporting for WJPS News, The Highlight. Now we take a look at a delicious pie shop. Elias Bautista has the story. Located on 61 Delancey Street, Manhattan, New York City, is a local pie shop named after the owner, Petra P.D. Paredes. She grew up helping her mom's apple pie company back in Leesburg, Virginia, until she moved to teach New York City public schools before seizing the opportunity to open her own pie shop. Um, her parents owned a pie shop when she was growing up and she kind of took their recipes and opened this place to like pay homage to how she grew up. Um, the shop sells fresh baked pies, ice box pies, and savory pot pies. Apple and salty chocolate chess are their best sellers, but they also offer vegan and gluten-free options. Uh, it's a local business. They have like really good pies, you know. They sell merchandise and a cookbook with all their recipes at their store. They make all their pies using seasonal local produce and natural fair trade sweeteners, as well as their teas and coffee. And we locally source all of our ingredients and use a lot of organic, like fair trade ingredients. Um, all our coffee and tea is local to New York. All of our fruit is local. Um, so I guess just where we source our stuff um, and we use like really high quality food. They cater for office, birthday or any other parties and they're open every day from 11 a.m. to 11 p.m. I'm Elias Bautista reporting for WJPS News, the highlight. After the break, we see a day in the life of a WJPS senior and we visit a local park. WJPS is bringing back the Europe trip. The trip is being offered for next year, 2023-2024. Students will be able to go to Europe to learn about historic events that have occurred. It really gives kids more of a hands-on experience. When it comes to these kind of things, they're able to actually be somewhere where they're learning and 
being able to learn about something and being able to actually see the actual thing, you know, happen around them. This is the first year WJPS is doing the Europe trip since COVID. Students will arrive at Italy and then go to Greece. WJPS will spend 10 days in Europe. We decided to bring back the trip to Europe because it was a massive WJPS tradition and Honestly, it was incredible to see the response. There were so many people who wanted to be a part of the trip, who wanted to travel with us and have that once in a lifetime experience. It really was inspiring just to see how many people wanted to be a part of it. Unlike previous years, there are only limited seats for the trip. Only 30 to 40 students will be able to go to the Europe trip. Students will experience education in a different way. Something that really caught my attention about the trip was that it was gonna be during my senior year and I'll be able to make memories with my friends on our last year. WJPS is ready and excited to go to Europe. I'm Daisy Paul reporting for WJPS News, The Highlight. Claudio Corte takes us to Casino Park in Flushing, Queens. Casino Park is a public area located in Casino Boulevard and Booth Memorial Avenue in Fresh Meadows. It's got an area of approximately 235 acres. The most popular activities include running, walking trails, dog walking, photography, spending time by the lake, or fishing. Um, well, today I'm fishing. Normally, I do come here to kind of unwind. Uh, we live in the concrete jungle, so Casino is like a new little slice of, you know, kind of like nature in the middle of our, you know, densely populated cities. The park counts with a variety of sports fields of all kinds. They're not all attached to the main area of the park, but they can be found nearby. And due to the availability, many Francis Louis sports teams have practices on these fields. I do love surround the lake and sometimes the soccer team trains at the casino field. In casino, we can find many animals, mainly swans, ducks, turtles, and squirrels, which are often photographed by visitors. Based on its reviews, many people believe that the park's popularity comes from its clean water and good maintenance. And to keep the place in good condition, the park has a large staff working all around the area. Um, let's see, grounds, general groundskeeping duties, such as mowing the lawns, uh, removing dead tree limbs, uh, trash removal, trash pickup. And because of the variety and good maintenance, many people gave Casino high ratings on Google. I'm Claudia Corte, reporting for WJPS News The Highlight. GRWM, get ready with WJPS senior Anthony Cena. Alana Azad teaches us how to make brownies. Here's the weekend weather forecast with our middle schooler of the week. Thanks. For this weekend weather forecast, on Friday there will be a high of 45 and a low of 40 with a 0% chance of rain. On Saturday there will be a high of 42 and a low of 31 with a 0% chance of rain. On Sunday there will be a high of 41 and a low of 35 with a 50% chance of rain. I'm Olivia Ortiz. Now back to the studio. And that's a wrap for our show. For Ava Trudell and the rest of the WJPS News team, I'm Nico Zernitzoglu, and thank you for watching. Mm -hmm.